everyone. Welcome to this MeetingsNet Fast Chat. I'm Sue Hatch, Content Director for MeetingsNet. Joining me today is Kelly Gleason Smith, Vice President, Sales, at Caesars Entertainment, Meetings and Events. Welcome, Kelly, and thank you for joining us. Um, I, while I want to get your take on the market, let's start with a little bit about you. Um, you were elevated to Vice President of Sales just last fall. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your career? Sure. I am a proud wife and mom of two teenagers. So for those of you out there with those in your household, I can sympathize. Uh, my career started 19 years ago with uh, Hyatt Hotels and Resorts in San Antonio, Texas, where I was what we called back then a meeting connection sales manager, where we booked it and we cooked it. Uh, it was a baptism by fire experience that I learned so much. And then my career took me through Hyatt um, in San Antonio, again in Baltimore, and then in Washington, D.C., where I was a national sales rep for Hyatt. I joined Caesars five years ago, and it was the best decision I've ever made. Managed the East Coast sales team, and when the opportunity presented itself to become the vice president of sales, I was honored with the, uh, with the title, and here we are. Great. Well... Let's talk about today. There is a lot of talk about compression in the hotel market um, with the strong leisure demand competing with that wave of post-pandemic group business. Um, in this landscape, well, is this the landscape you're currently looking at? And, and what advice would you have for planners who may not have navigated this kind of environment before? Yeah, when we said that there was pent up demand for travel, we were not kidding. And it is evident for sure in our properties across the country, as well as my friends and other chains. What I can say to our planners that are out there is just be prepared for flexibility. Uh, things aren't going to be perfect if you're trying to find something short term. There is huge leisure demand and it is competing with availability and rates. But we're here to make things work for you and our meeting planners to make their lives a little easier but flexibility is really key during this time. Well, as they work to be flexible and they send in those RFPs, what trends are you seeing? And what advice would you have for meeting professionals who are working to get this group space, but it's such a challenging market? Yeah, I mean, it, when you think about having your meetings and you're, you're pigeonholed in a certain times of the year, like if you only look at March, if you're not open to considering April, your options are going to be limited. So when I say flexibility, it's in terms of patterns sometimes if we shift off of that typical Sunday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Saturday in Las Vegas, we love you Monday through Thursday. Those kind of flexibilities are going to help you have more options and across the country. Um, in addition to that, the trends that we're seeing are are, you know, programs that are slightly modified from what groups had done in the past. And then the challenge is their demand is far exceeding what they thought they would be in this particular, you know, landscape. They're not certain the planners are of what their attendees are going to look like. And so from our perspective, contracting what you feel very comfortable with is really important, but expecting that the group is going to grow is a bit of a challenge. So if you have any inkling that that is going to be something that you're going to be faced with, you're better to contract a larger block and then release it as you get closer than you would be trying to do the opposite. Good advice. Um, so our readers, meeting professionals, largely understand that Las Vegas has amazing airlift, incredible entertainment, lots of large hotel properties. Um, but what do they really need? What do they need to understand about Caesars Entertainment's properties that they might not already know. You know, Caesars is coming off of an incredible year and we spent and invested in our products, the largest single investment in the company's history. I mean, $400 million in Atlantic City alone. In addition to that, we've been working on our properties to upgrade the experience that they have, as well as, you know, our casino floors. But when it comes to the, the meeting planner, I think that something that people need to really keep in mind when you're thinking about Caesars Entertainment is we have 
an amazing culinary experience that goes along with our meetings and conventions that we can, you know, exceed everyone's expectations. There's another component to it, to traveling to Caesars Entertainment that give you these experiences with celebrity chefs that trust Caesars to take their career to the next level. And we obviously have great partnerships with Gordon Ramsay, is, to name one, um, who's just opened additional proper, uh, projects in places like Harris Las Vegas with Ramsay's Kitchen. And then we have celebrities like Martha Stewart, who trust Caesars to bring the, her very first and only restaurant, uh, the Bedford, which is at Paris, Las Vegas now. I mean, these are some things that our customers can't experience elsewhere. These partnerships have grown and we have additional ones coming on board in the coming year with Peter Luger, uh, Stanton Social, just to name a few. But Caesars has got a really great footprint when it comes to the culinary experiences as well. In addition, we've had some rebranding this year. We took our property, Valleys, in Las Vegas. It is now a horseshoe. Um, we welcomed residents, uh, artists like Adele and Garth Brooks at the Caesars Coliseum. Uh, we hosted the NFL Draft, and we're looking forward to F1 in November of 23 in Las Vegas, as well, of course, as the Super Bowl in 24. So we have a lot going on. A lot. Um, and you're growing. Um, can you talk about the new meetings focus property coming to Virginia? Yeah, we're very excited about this partnership with the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. This is a organization that we are we're partnered with when it comes to uh, Harris and Cherokee as well as Caesars in Southern Indiana. It's a six hundred and fifty million dollar project in Southern Virginia. Uh, it is opening in late two thousand and twenty four. We're going to have 500 guest rooms there, 440,000 square feet of space, a 2,500 seat live entertainment um, outdoor theater. It is in an area of the country that we feel very strongly is underserved, and we're excited about having the opportunity to put our footprint in the state. Well, thank you very much. This has been some great information. Um, Huge thanks. Kelly Gleason Smith, Vice President of Sales for Caesars Entertainment Meetings and Events. Appreciate it. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate the opportunity.